Hey fellow tennis nerds, welcome to another tennis nerd video. This video deals with Naomi Osaka's racket. Uh, it's from a request uh, on YouTube and I wanted to kind of get to that. I know a lot of players are interested in her gear and she's had a fantastic career so far and she's only 23 years old. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. It's an online learning community where I go now to improve my video editing skills and how I work with these videos. I will also look into maybe photo editing for my website tennisner.net. I find that really helpful. It's a platform curated specifically for learning so there are no ads. The cost is less than $10 a month with an annual subscription and there's loads and loads of interesting content to get into and uh, improve your skills and learn new things. That's something I've really been doing and I definitely need it. One of the things I've learned now, I've been going through a class with Thomas Dager, uh, which is about storytelling on YouTube and uh, I'm learning a bit more on how to work with these like project setups in the video editing software. I'm a complete noob in these things. I've just been working uh, with kind of the bare minimum of knowledge and uh, it's not maybe so smart, but I'm trying now to kind of bridge some of the gaps I have in my knowledge and Skillshare really helps me do that. So I hope you're interested in checking out Skillshare. I'm happy that they decided to sponsor a couple of my videos. Uh, that always helps uh, the website and Tennis Nerd survive. So thanks to them. The first 1000 subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of a premium membership with Skillshare where you can explore your creativity. Uh, so I recommend you do that. I'm gonna pin it as the first comment below and it's gonna be in the description. So the first thousand of you can actually try it with a premium subscription, really recommend it. I learned a lot from it so far and I will keep learning. Uh, that's about that. Let's talk about Naomi Osaka's racket. She's had a great year so far. It's only early days, but she's already won the Australian Open and uh, it looks like she's ready to win more Grand Slams. Only 23 years old, has pretty much no weaknesses as you can see in the game. She's not as comfortable on clay courts and grass courts. That's maybe one issue she has to work on. Uh, big serve, um, she is uh, quite tall at um, 180 or 511, can serve above 200 kilometers per hour or, hour or 125 miles per hour. So she has a big game, big serve, aggressive game style, has won four hardcore slams. She became the sports person of the year. She was the um, highest earning female athlete of all time last year. She has become quite an influential person uh, was voted uh, top 100 influential people of time for two years in a row. So uh, she has a big career ahead of her and uh, will be interesting to follow her success on the tennis court. Naomi plays with a Yonex E-Zone AI98. It's painted to look like the latest version of the E-Zone 98. That's usually what's called a pro stock racket. The pros usually get a racket painted to uh, look like the newest model that they're selling, but it's normally based on something else because they pros they don't change rackets all the time that would be really weird if they decided to change what they actually play well with and for a tennis pro it's so important to have the racket being an extension of your arm so if they they move around with rackets like I do I think that you'd see far less good results from a lot of pros so um, she's been playing with the AI 98 the Eason AI 98 so she's added some lead tape to the sides to bring up her specs too and I'm gonna check the website 341 grams and uh, 31.8 centimeter balance which is 7 points head light uh, that's 12 ounces by the way for, for you uh, Americans. The strong swing weight of this racket is 324 which sounds uh, pretty low with the lead tape but players on the WTA tour usually play with lower swing weights than on the ATP tour normally so 324 is not uh, crazy low it's not as high as Serena's monster swing weight but it's it, she can really whip that racket around to create a lot of power very similar to the Iga Swiatek swing weight of her um, old prince, and I think she will get something similar now with uh, Technifiber. That spec, uh, I think, suits Naomi well. Just an AI 98 with some lead tape added at three and nine. She now um, endorses the limited edition paint, the kind of white uh, paint job of the new ESO 98. The Onyx ESO 98 series has been around for a while. I think the XI 98 was the first version that's now used by Nick Kyrgios, uh, also painted to look like the latest one. We have another example in Martin Fuksovic, who's using the DR 98. And they 
playing them pretty much close to stock so the, they don't add a lot of weight there are many pros that play with really hefty swing weights a lot of weight added to the racket to get more swing weight to get more plow through to really have a weightier shots the ESO 98 is kind of like a pure drive in a smaller head size with a bit lower stiffness so if you want to generate a lot of power with decent amount of spin it's not like a spin monster I would then go for the V core 98 instead uh, but if you want to generate lots of pace on your shots the ESO 98 is an interesting racket because the the 98 screen head size will still give you control. You can obviously go to the 100, but it will be a bit more uh, difficult to control that, that power. But uh, the ESO 98 is super popular now uh, among club level players and uh, definitely worth checking out. I've reviewed it on this channel. The latest one uh, in, on this channel is called the Prototype because that's what I reviewed back then. Uh, but I've reviewed the AI, the DR, and, and the, the other ESO 98. One confusion is that the ESO 98 has the same name coming from the 2018 version to the now uh, 2020 version. So, um, but they're a bit different. The 2020 version has a lower swing weight and a little bit lower stiffness as well. So it's moving more back to the DR 98. Naomi Osaka's racket, the Yonex AI 98 is the most flexible of these frames. It has a pretty uh, low flex rating. So there you'd really feel the racket flex and it's uh, more comfortable on the arm. So I would say if you're really, you know, want to play with a, a Yonex ESO 98 racket, this is the most comfortable of them. Uh, but also the one you might, you know, need to add some weight like Naomi did to the sides to get the stability up because the flex obviously will, will make the racket a little bit more prone to twisting on off-center shots. If you want the racket that's probably the easiest to use of the all the ESO 98s, the latest one gives you plenty of power pretty low swing weight so it's pretty easy to use and um, I personally like the XI98 a lot and that uh, Curious plays with it's uh, something that gives you a lot of power but it still feels like it has a controlled string bed so uh, that that's racket is really nice to play with and I've reviewed that racket on this channel uh, a while back so you can check that out as well and you can also watch my video about the Curious racket for example so that's Naomi Osaka specs, uh, the ESO 98, one of the most popular lines. I'm sure that Yonex will sell a lot more rackets now that Naomi keeps adding to her Grand Slam tally. And uh, I think we will see more and more of her. Will, will she become a dominant force in the game now, in the women's game? So that's it about Naomi Osaka's racket, uh, Yonex AI 98. If you want something that plays similar to that, uh, but you can't find an AI 98, any of the Onyx ESO 98 rackets will play pretty similarly. It won't be as flexible, but you might get a bit of free power and a little bit, um, it will be a little bit easier to use. The AI 98 is probably the one that's most difficult to use of the ESO 98s, but they're all pretty good. I know a lot of you like the DR 98. My favorite was perhaps the XI 98. Uh, I don't know, but they're all pretty close. And I, I have a few friends that play with the ESO 98 previous version and not the latest one. Uh, so they're all pretty good rackets if you want power uh, within a m with a bit more control from the smaller head size. I used the ESO Tour for a while myself, as you know, but suffered from some forearm issues. So I had to put that away, which was a shame because it was a racket that I really liked. But with the, all the tennis I'm playing and my aging body, I cannot risk any more injuries and I, I don't want to aggravate stuff. Uh, for no reason so I'd rather play with a more flexible racket although I won't get the same power uh, but the ESO 98 line is, is great try it if you if you're interested in getting some free pop on your shots and that's all about Naomi Osaka's racket I hope you like this video and there will be more videos to come next week I've got my computer back things are hopefully coming back to some kind of normal and um, I can hopefully be a bit more frequent with my uploads uh, what kind of videos would you like to see? Please comment below. I need ideas sometimes. Um, it's not easy when you're alone to try to think, think of new topics to talk about and where, sometimes I create something that I might have talked about before. Um, but please let me know what you want to see uh, from Tennis Nerd uh, in the future. I really appreciate all your help and support and that you watch my humble videos. Thanks a lot. Have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis.